Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 9 of The Outer Worlds. Today, we are going to be checking out the deserters and seeing where they stand on everything. The Howler is a new one. Died easy enough. I always see those dead birds around the, uh, these things, the canids. I keep wanting to say candid. Doesn't look like there's anything else out here. It's actually really pretty. Developers did great on the sky. Yay! More people kill. That one's already dead. Kill them both in one swing. That's actually pretty awesome. <laughs> Taser? Yes, that's what this will be called now. I don't need that. Yes. You're fast. Phrasing? Boom. Yeah, I think that's everything. I gotta, like, all these locked chests that don't need mag pigs, they just make me happy. Move like, along, honestly. Stranger. You don't want any trouble. Oh, but you do. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Do you? Isn't that what the vicar was talking what? about? Look, plants eat my purview. You're better off asking after Adelaide. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Okay, that's fine. Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Thank Enough you. with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. Oh, really? You don't know what enough with the questions means? Obviously not. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Yeah, that crazy now chick I'm around from wondering if earlier. Got to her. <laughs> Marauders didn't really get to her. Thank the Eternal. Wait, Marauder Camp? Is she alright? In the <laughs> In the head? Queen of the Marauders, huh? 
That's what comes of watching serials. Rots your gray. You could bring her home, I'd be obliged. And if you could cross off some marauders on the way, I'd be much obliged. Well, all the marauders are dead. I'll tell you what I can. In between you and her. Well, enough to know we never got on. Zoe and Stefan were close. If anybody knows the workings of her mind, he does. I feel sorry for that dude. Honestly. She was lazy and thoughtless, but she's still one of our own. What is it? All right, well, no more questions, just like you wanted. Stefan. You hungry? We got canid ribs, canid flank, canid snout, too. Something I can help you with? Uh, not sounding like good food there. Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Is it not? She's kind of Zoe messed and up I in the head. Watch the cereals, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. Oh, I'm not with the corporations. Zoe was always obsessed with this cereal. Masked Marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. Yeah? What kind of surprise? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. Hmm. Huh. Not much of a chance, no. Mind if I ask why you're interested? Zoe's living with marauders? Yeah, that sounds like the sort of sideways, brat-brained plan Zoe'd come up with. Huh. Yeah, could be you're telling the truth. Or maybe you're trying to wheedle me into relinquishing my only copy of The Masked Marketeer. It's a collector's edition after all. I could care less for your little thing, dude. Yeah, you're probably right. A true fan would have displayed a gleam in their eye upon hearing the words collector's edition. Here you go. Latest copy of The Masked Marketeer. Tell Zoe we're all waiting on her. Episode 38. I'll help if huh. I can. Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. <laughs> well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. Really? She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. Okay, obviously you're fucked up in hey, the head too. I got time. Fresh off the limb, and that includes canid meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I like it. It's only five shot though. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Wow. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You're actually way nicer than, uh, Thompson. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Okay. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. <laughs> Why, thank you. Pavarotti. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were Pavarotti. but a sprout. Pavarotti. Thomas Whatever her fucking name often. is. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon. But it's been... Ew. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? No, let's hear it. Really? What's Reed's idea of peace then? To shut off your power? Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. 
I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. He would do such a thing. Yeah. He seems kind of shady. Why would you shady. agree to his plans? Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. Well, if I might just do that. Plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Well, I seem to like you guys a little bit more than I like Edgewater itself, so... You may have a deal. Okay. So, Zoe is off her rocker even more so than I thought. There's no... Huh. Yeah. Nothing. Damn, that'd been a good place to hide something. They even got chickens. I wasn't if you're gonna hungry, break in. Yes, leave, please. Thank you. Again, nothing really too much. Just more ammo. Bunch of nanas. Or nanners. If you're hungry, Stefan's got supplies. Oh, that's Thomas. Around that sounds like a creep. Is this whole place just full of creepy people? Honestly, these people seem more poor than uh, marauders. And the marauders are broke ass bitches. see you there I was uh well I was just occupying myself with a little engineering 
Whoa, Miss Parvati. <laughs> yep. You're, uh, what, um, how, how are you? Hi. Creep. Hi. Hi. Uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so... Wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this fella here. Are you from town? Mm. Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. No, not really. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Oh, yeah? What's Fact that? is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. Well, that's not Never a heard of the bad Young idea. Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. <laughs> Surprise! I already have one. Do I have multiple? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. Kylo, please stop scratching yourself in the background. No kidding! Really? Thank you, buddy. Well, which one? Look at that! Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. Yeah, In fact, it was I put literally no special. problem. On the off chance that somebody'd search out those data pads for me. 300 bits. Sure, I'd be glad to take them off your hands. What's on your mind? couple months. This camp's my home. People you see milling about, they're my family. At least I think of them that way. I owe them my life. Would have died in the wilderness if they hadn't chanced upon me, starving and delirious. We all left the cannery for one reason or another. Me? <laughs> I was let go. Mostly on account of my incompetence. I mean, I was incompetent. I couldn't yeah. even survive on my own. Grace found me, Adelaide took me in, I've been on my feet ever since. You weren't incompetent. You just didn't fit the cannery. Not like here. This place had a U-shaped hole, and now it doesn't. You could stay, you know. Here, I'd be happy to... I mean, uh, we could really use... Uh, oh, this isn't coming out right. Uh, if you want... Adelaide would make a place for you. We should just go away from... Away from old creepy there. Let's go, Parvati. Person still in here? Doesn't matter. Okay. Open up. What is this? Oh, okay. See, I would actually help them. Oh shit, shit, shit. Shit. Why are there so many goddamn mines? Oh my god. 
Oh. Holy fuck. Well, I can definitely say that that was an effective thing. <laughs> Time to go hunt another bounty, I guess, since we're right here. Actually, you know what? We will hunt the bounties in the next episode. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See ya.